Thank you for staying with us. It's time now to take a look at stories making headlines on the front page of Nigerian newspapers. And I begin with the Nation newspaper. The major story here says, a federal government steps up action against the rising insecurity. Federal government steps up action against rising insecurity. President gives marching order. Ohaneze, uh, Ariawa Consultative Forum, raised dust over killings, kidnappings. And uh, you'll find some of the stories on the front page here. What Cardoso should do as CBN boss by financial experts. Owners of revoked 189 Abuja plots get uh, three months relief. Uh, give Nigeria a new constitution. Afe Babalola urges uh, the AGF, uh, African e Equities, lead global stock market returns. You can read all of those uh, stories on the front page of the Nation newspaper. We move to the blueprints now. Zamfara Varsity Kidnap. Amid mounting pressure, Tinubu other security agencies to rescue students. Amid mounting pressure, Tinubu others. Uh, security agencies to rescue students. And some riders here say Nigeria needs new strategies to combat terrorism. Arawa Consultative Forum is speaking. Time is of essence. Act now. Northern Coalition tells federal government. We are on the trail of abductors. The police is uh, making some assurance there. All right. And uh, you see a picture there of uh, the Lagos State Fire Service trying to quench or put out the fire uh, that uh, happened over the weekend in Ilupeju, a plastic company at Ilupeju there. All right, and some other story, fuel subsidy, fuel subsidy removal after 21-day ultimatum, NLC meets on next line of action, and we hear the meeting is supposed to hold uh, sometime today. Then NEF partners FCTA on... Uh, security master plan. That's the, the Northern Elders Forum uh, there. All of the details on this story is on the front page of the Blueprints. To the Daily Sun now, Tinubu others immediate rescue of abducted Zamfara female students. Iowa Consultative Forum demands rejigging of security strategies over students' kidnapping. Uh, right, and on the front page you see a picture uh, depicting uh, some areas flooded in Lagos uh, is said to be Ijui Shaga Road, uh, cars submerged in water, in flood, flood waters there. Uh, again, Namdekan News, American lawyer, demands immediate release. You find all the details of the story on the front page of the Daily Sun. To the Daily Independent now, new uh, AG, CBN, governor, all right, deputies, assumption of office, wrong. Lawyers, economists say it's patent uh, illegality, presumptuous. All right, uh, disagreement trees, extension of AOC for NG Eagle Airlines as a $30 million aircraft engine skip airline aground. All the details of the stories on the front page of the Daily Independent. All right, we move now to the first news newspaper. National Assembly, Tinubu said to clash over Kadosu deputies as lawmakers fume over nominees' resumption in office without confirmation. All right, stakeholders oppose nomination of new CBN governor, question academic qualification, experience, competence, say Kadosu's nomination violates CBN Act. And uh, probe missing $15 billion, 200 uh, billion naira of oil revenue, Serap tells. Tinubu, all the details on the front page of the First News newspaper. All right, to the front page of the Vanguard newspaper now, NLC battles OPS over stand on planned nationwide strike. As some writers hear, NLC alleges plot to sabotage struggle on palliatives. Economy can't afford nationwide strike. OPS insists, urges federal government, NLC to avert industrial action by all means, asks federal government to demonstrate good faith in keeping promises. And uh, pro-labor CSOs urge NLC to declare indefinite strike, pledge to support NLC in fighting for workers, others. You find all the details of that story on the front page of the Vanguard newspaper. To the business AM, Cardoso's blushes saved as analysts expect hold on first MPC meeting. 
Caduceus blushes, saved as analysts expect uh, hold and first MPC meeting. All right, you'll find all the details on the front page of the Business AM. To the salient times, Supreme Court affirms Lamidia Papa as the Labour Party National Chairman. Supreme Court confirms Lamidia Papa as Labour Party National Chairman ordered INEC to upload Ukegbu Ikechuku Joseph as Imo Guba candidate. And uh, on the front page of the leadership newspaper, despite warning, states cut unprepared for flood. Despite warning, states cut unprepared for flood. And uh, 2023 flood disaster in Nigeria. We see some infographs here. Benue, Niger, designate uh, 37 centers as IDP camps. Katsina, Kebi, Lagos, Plateau record 15 death. Sad one there. Uh, 33,983 Nigerians affected in 10 states, says NEMA. That's the National Emergency Management Agency already speaking. Ibrahim. Right, so the first here is uh, News Direct, and uh, Ni New Nigeria News Direct. Uh, so we have the federal FCT minister revokes land title of 21 embassies, 168 others. And above the nameplate, we have Tinobu orders security agencies to rescue abducted university students. Um, we also have the investigate missing 200 billion naira budgeted for refineries repair. Now, Sarah, uh, Sarah telling uh, President Tinobu, uh, we also have uh, Tinobu's 117 days in office full of lies, propaganda, that's according to Atiku is uh, really on the neck of the president. Uh, to the next um, uh, newspaper, we have the national economy. Closing Nigeria's infrastructure gap. And headline reads, still a long walk. The rider, uh, as, Niger as nation needs an annual investment of $150 billion in infrastructure, but generates $22 billion annually. Uh, under the... Uh, the, the bottom strip of the newspaper, we have experts list factors for Nigeria's economic growth. That's very key. You find that all of those on the front page of the national economy. This Nigeria is next. Get those who pocketed $15 billion to 100 billion Naira oil revenue, Serap tells Tinobu, urges implementation of all recommendations by NATI in its 2021 <coughs> report. Get those who pocketed $15 billion to 100 billion naira oil revenue, Serap tells Tinobu. And on the ear of the newspaper, uh, UNGA 78, Onga 78, Nigeria targets 1 million jobs, launches talent exports program. Nigeria targets 1 million jobs, launches talent exports program. Uh, that's uh, on the front page of the this day, uh, this Nigeria newspaper. Uh, next is the Abuja Inquirer. Ground rent, CBN, police, IBB, golf club to uh, top debtors list. Ground rent, CBN, police, IBB, golf uh, club top debtors list. Wiki recovers 1.9 billion naira of 34 billion naira owed, revokes additional 25 plots, 189 others get three months grace to build. Of no, Wike is not really taking this thing, <laughs> this thing slow. Uh, business day is next. Naira pains exceed gains on weak, uh, on weak CBN FX reform. Naira pains exceed gains on weak CBN FX reform. That's on the front page of the newspaper. And the big story there is NNPCL house cleaning skips systemic problems. Uh, brewers incur... 89 billion naira loss as borrowing costs surge. That's on the front page of Business Day newspaper. Daily Trust newspaper is next. FCT states lose trillions of naira to unpaid ground rent. FCTA owed 34 billion naira, recovers 2 billion naira in two days. Why states are not getting ground, uh, ground rent? The fault has risk revocation of titles. That's according to the lawyer, and on that, and here on the bottom strip, we have uh, tribunal delivers judgment in PDP Labour Party petitions against Sonwolu today. TVC will be there live to bring us up to date with the uh, ruling by the tribunal. 
Uh, despite the Guardian newspaper is next. Despite 2.8 trillion naira subsidy, power averages 3,000 megawatts in 10 years. Despite 2.8 trillion naira subsidy, power averages 3,000 megawatts in 10 years. Uh, that's on the front page of the Guardian newspaper. We have Paris Climate Agreement, Nigeria and Hypocrisy of Polluter Countries. The president actually spoke to these at the Ongas 78. Uh, private sector CSOs kick as NLC decides on indefinite strike tomorrow. All of those on the front page of the Guardian newspaper. Uh, the penultimate paper with me here is the Nature News. A Cressol boss hails World Bank on $700 million funding for projects as permanent, uh, permanent secretary urges judicial use of resources. Uh, Nemasa donates protective kits to Lagos State Waste Management. That's on the front page. And also uh, on the bottom strip, you see EPL, Glazer family makes your turn on selling Man United demand up to 10 billion pounds. Uh, interesting stuff there. Last but not least, uh, much to, not much to read here, but then uh, fondly remembered is the picture of a former senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator uh, Dr. Chuba William Okadigo, uh, who was the Senate president between 1999 and 2000 uh, from Delta State. Uh, it's been remembered by the family. He said, after 20 years, we we'll still miss your love as a husband, kindness as a father, knowledge as a teacher, service as a politician, sagacity as a lawmaker, Faith as a Christian, swagger as Oye of Oye, continue to rest in peace as a tribute to <clears throat> the eighth Senate President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, uh, Dr. Senator Dr. Chuba William Okadibo. May so continue to rest in peace. Amen. All right, let's look at uh, some of the issues on the papers. Talking security uh, right now, especially. Uh, the kidnap of uh, some female students from the Guso University in Zamfara State. And um, this is not the first time this is happening. I recall that uh, earlier this year, I think sometime in June, uh, there was a kidnap, attempted kidnap on some of the students. And even at that, the students actually protested uh, with regards to the number of kidnappings, abductions of their students or their colleagues in, from the school. And they had called on the government, the state government, and even the federal government to do something with regards to that. That was why they protested. And now we are seeing that um, gunmen, you know, invaded the Sabungida village mm -hmm. at about 3 a.m., according to reports, and uh, entered three hostels where the students, a majority of them females, <clears throat> as has been reported, were abducted. Yeah. And then in the process, it was also being reported that um, some of the bandits were also, you know, engaged security agencies in the cause of kidnapping the students. Yeah. And um, uh, the Arawa Consultative Forum has been speaking, uh, even after that incident, saying that uh, Nigeria needs uh, new strategies to combat terrorism, and activities like uh, kidnapping and banditry. And the president has even given marching orders that uh, these students be rescued as quickly as possible. Yes, um, because life is very important. We, start, we started this program by talking about you know, life of Nigerians mm. in terms of medical health care. Fine, if they are able to get that and they, uh, they're able to get back their health, then what about security, about people who are animals and who might, you know, snuff out the life out of them you know, just within the blink of an eye. So we, we identify the problems, we know the problems, we, we know that there's always been insecurity in terms of kidnapping, uh, uh, criminal activities, armed robbery, uh, ransom collection, uh, uh, terrorism, insurgency, call it whatever name, it's all under insecurity. So a, a lot of, rec uh, a lot of ex um, experts, or let's say analysts, have, have, have actually talked to the you know, government by saying they should implement the issue of state police. State policing is very key. Uh, local intelligence is very important to ensure that this thing, they, 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 they are able to stem the tide. 
you can't go to on guard, you can't go to New York, you can't go to um, UAE, you know, to solicit participation of investors, for investors to woo investors, you know, commitment to Nigeria. They have to also ensure that the security of the country is very key, that they are assured of their own security, not only of their own lives, but also of their own businesses. So yeah, I feel it's very important mm -hmm. that the government, you know, the, the Tinubu administration, part of its eight-point agenda is to ensure that there is adequate uh, security. The issue of insecurity is brought to, you know, a sound still. In fact, talking about um, this matter of um, wooing investors, right. we just saw the U.S. issue travel advisory to, uh, about, to about 18, 18 countries, states. 18 states, rather. I said <laughs> 18 <laughs> states uh, telling their citizens not to visit 18 states. That, is, uh, that I believe, is not healthy mm, not, for our economy and the fact that we're trying to woo investors. Absolutely. And uh, we had, at some point, had the matter of the Safe Schools Initiative uh, when we had uh, the Chibok girls abducted. Right. Not much was seen with the implementation of, of that. Mm. And then for this university where it has become, you know, a place where these people visit, bandits visit, you know, to kidnap students one time or the other, I believe that the state government needs to do more. Yes, we know that you just took up this role as a governor, right. but you would have gotten security information, intelligence reports about the red spots in the state, the activities of bandits in the state, right. and knowing that these are students, the security of lives and property is the priority of any government, That's should right. be the That's priority right. of it any is. government. It is what it is. So, but knowing that this school is known to be one of the soft targets of uh, activities of bandits, they should, or kidnappers, they should have ensured that there was enough security That's right. for the students, mm -hmm. because they are vulnerable. They do not. They cannot secure themselves. They come. They came there believing that they will be secured, and they want to get education mm. as it is. I don't know how how you found this. You know, there was a video of um, unknown gunmen in the southeast. A, a, a federal worker was actually uh, arrested by them. Is he arrested? Or was seized by them. Uh, I think he works with the FRSC, mm. and they said, "Oh, because he's one of them, because he speaks a language. That's why they spared his life." And the headline read. Uh, um, a, a man was spared, a man's life was spared by unknown gunmen. And these people are saying that they want a Biafra nation, they want this, they want that, they are non-state actors. Uh, and they said if the federal government tries to uh, come to them, that they will kill all the soldiers and all of that. It's not possible for us, it's not right for us to have two governors in the state. For the, yeah, right. When I, even, yeah, two governments in the state. Mm. So you can't say people should sit at home and uh, they obey because you are looking. You know, one thing they don't understand is that when you are fighting, you don't invite your enemy to come and fight you in your father's house. You are already defeated mm. because a lot of things would have gone down. And then by the time they now get hold of you, you've destroyed your father, ha father's house. You've destroyed your own self. And what you are agitating for, you are killing your own people for what? No, so that, I feel that, that's the irony. You understand? So I feel I feel it's very important for. Uh, for, for the federal government to ensure that this is brought to a standstill. We have the insecurity too in the north. We have it also, you know, kidnapping and all of that somewhere in the south, in, in the southwest here too. You know, so it, it's very important that the, the issue of state policing, the government should also collaborate with the traditional leaders, the traditional rulers. Some of them are conniving with the criminals. So we've read in the newspapers. We've even confirmed that. So I feel they should also uh, get on, uh, on top of their own game to, to make sure the life of Nigerian people is safe. Uh, at the same time, the youth too, they need to be engaged. Uh, Multidimensional poverty is 133 million. Mm. That number, as according to reports, has according increased. To, according to report, has increased, you understand, due to the removal of fuel subsidy and all of the attendance issues that we are being faced with. So that, you know, if all of these things are being tackled, they are being addressed, they will have less problem in the country. Mm -hmm. It's not enough to say, okay, we want all of this to be on ground, and then we should also be our own first um, um, security, um, uh, uh, what's it called, the Agent. security agents. When you see something, as they say, we have to say something. We have to keep, uh, keep telling the, the, the people who, in the authority yeah. whenever we see anything that is, uh, that is wrong within the society. We believe that um, the uh, security agencies will step up action, even though they are given some level of assurance at uh, rescuing the girls, it is not enough to give assurance. 
uh, what people want to see is this person's kidnapped returned safe and sound to their families and to the schools because we have an out of uh, schools uh, budding already as it is and these are the issues that discourage persons from you know, going on with uh, their education. We believe the government will step up the plate and address this matter of insecurity as quickly as possible.